we have a post back arm, which is a, a students that have, that have graduated from college but may not have all the requirements to get into medical school. A prescription for diversity and inclusion. Dr. Greg Hall says that's what it will take to treat one particular ailment in our society. Yeah, a huge gap that needs to be filled with more African-American doctors. He shared his plans to fill that gap and create a better land in the medical community. His skin and others like it hold healing. Their presence in doctor's offices and lab rooms is marrow deep. Some patients prefer, some patients will specifically say, I want a, an African-American specialist. Dr. Greg Hall splits time between patients and his students at Cleveland State, where he's molding tomorrow's physicians. Our criteria is, is, is one, to empower underrepresented minorities, um, first generation people that are first generation college uh, tenders, um, and then Cleveland and inner ring suburbs. Dr. Hall is a co-director of CSU's Neomed Partnership for Urban Health. It's a two-year program filled with a promising future. It's so diverse, it's so unique. Devon Lawson graduated from Morehouse College last year. We need more doctors like me. Uh, we need more doctors that look like me. Now he's in Dr. Hall's program with a role model who looks like him, helping him build the skills to succeed in medical school. But that's not always the case in many professions. We can be, we can be lawyers, we can be doctors, we can be surgeons, we can be astronauts, you can be an engineer, you can be a technician, you can be, there's so many things that you can be, you can work for the news. Like <laughs> The National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine found the number of black male medical students dropped 38% over the last three decades. Dr. Hall says representation today is abysmal. It's very low. Nationwide, it's like 4%, 3 or 4%. He points to a lack of opportunity and less funding for historically black colleges and universities. And I was worried about how am I going to get there, the journey, the cost. We actually give that added information, that added, the added exposure and the added support so that they can go to medical school. CSU's program has an 80% ultimate acceptance rate into medical school. I've always had a passion to help people. Upon finishing this program, Devon will attend Northeast Ohio Medical University and pursue a career as a primary care physician. Great program, great guys. And we want to know who's fighting to build a better land in your community. So if you know of a group or a person working to take on systemic problems, holler at us. You can email us at the address right there on your screen, a betterland at wews.com.